Hi, I'm Zach Caligari, freelance graphic designer in New York City, and today we are talking about Photoshop. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to make a desktop wallpaper. Because Ryan Gosling is my sister's current celebrity pick, I'm going to do mine about him. Obviously, there are many ways to make a desktop wallpaper. This is just one, but I'm hoping that you can use this to learn a few tricks to use on your own ideas. So the first thing you want to do is create a document that is the right size. Um, you want the resolution to be the same as your screen. I'll call it wallpaper. And I'm going to make mine 1280 by 1024. Click OK, and you've got your document. So now the first thing I'm going to do is decide what background color I want. Let's make this um, kind of a tannish color. Yeah, something like that. Click OK, and I'm going to use the Paint Bucket tool to make this entire layer that color. Now I'm going to create two more layers on top of that. New layer. And new layer. And in the first layer, I'm going to use the rectangular marquee to select part of it. And then I'm going to use my gradient tool to create a gradient within that rectangular marquee. I'm going to make mine dark red to dark red, 100% opacity to 0% opacity, so that it will fade from a dark red to nothing, and you can see the color that's underneath. So I'll click OK, and I'll make my first gradient here. And now I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, and I'm going to add a warp. The kind of warp is a flag. And I'm just going to change the bend to 35%. Hit Enter to get out of Transform. And deselect. Now I'm going to go to my top layer, and I'm going to do this one more time, but a little bit bigger. Again, use my gradient tool, and I'm going to keep the same preset and do one more gradient. Now I'll go to Transform, and also do a warp, and do a flag. And this time, I'm going to make it go the opposite direction by putting a negative sign in front of the 35. Again, I'll hit Return to get out of Transform, and I'm going to click Away. Now I'm going to add some styles to the layers. In my top layer, I'm going to go to Layer, Layer Styles, and I'm going to add an Inner Glow. I'm going to use Screen Mode, bring down the opacity to around 40, uh, softer, throw the choke up, I'll make it a little bit bigger. Click OK. Now I'm going to blur it by going to Filter, Blur, and I'm going to add a 7 pixel Gaussian blur. Click OK. It's just uh, kind of fuzzied the edges a little bit. Now I'm going to go to my other layer that's on top of that. I'm going to go to Filter, Sketch, and Halftone Pattern. Click OK, and now I'm going to move that layer down a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go up and open a file of Ryan Gosling, and go to Open, all right, and I'm going to select him. Notice I've cut out the background with the eraser tool. And I'm going to paste him in between my two layers. Now I'm going to make the opacity 70%. And I'm going to create two duplicates of this layer.
in the middle copy of this layer, I'm going to apply another Gaussian blur, um, and I'm going to make it 12 pixels. And on the bottom layer, I'm going to go to Layer Style and add an outer glow. And let's go with a 40% opacity. And we'll make the size 250. And click OK. Now you have added the glow to Ryan Gosling.